In today's video, I have a perfect little dessert that's great for the 4th of July. So let's, uh, let's get cooking, get to baking. So in this big bowl here, <clears throat> I'm doing firework blondies, by the way. I have one stick of softened butter, and then I'm gonna put in two cups of brown sugar, light brown sugar, and then I'm just gonna cream these together until it's nice and crumbly. Okay. Blondies are really, really great for a crowd because they're really chewy on the outside and gooey in the middle. That's the sign of a good brownie, blondie, I'm told, in the recipes. So yeah, just with my hand mixer, or you can use a stand mixer if you want, or you could do this by hand, whatever you fancy. Excuse the noises in the background here. Um, so I'll just cream these together real quick, just like this. This is what you should end up with. And then I'm going to throw in two eggs and some vanilla. I'm going to use imitation vanilla, but, you know, feel free to use the real stuff if you got it like that. I can't tell the difference. Can you? Between imitation vanilla and real vanilla? I don't know. They taste the same to me. I think you get the same result with both. So I figure why pay so much money for the real stuff when you can get like twice as much for with the fake stuff. So anyway, anywho. <clears throat> so then I take my beaters and mix in the eggs and the vanilla into the butter and the brown sugar. Mix, mix, mix. Doesn't take very long just to get it all incorporated together. And then I have some baking powder. This is what's going to help it rise in the oven. And two cups of all-purpose flour will go in. Also, you should have your oven preheated to 350. And then this recipe calls for a 9 by 13. I'm going to add a little bit of salt here just for extra flavor enhancement here. Anyway, nine by 13 metal baking pan. I did not have it. So I just use a nine by nine metal baking pan and just line it with foil and spray it with nonstick spray. And then take, I take a spoon. You could use this hand, the hand mixer also, but I'm just going to use this, a wooden spoon to mix the flour into the re ingredients we have already in the, in the bowl. Try not to overmix it too much. Just until you can't see the flour anymore. It's what you're going for. So yeah, the 4th of July is coming up. I made this actually for a little camping trip. I'm on it right now, actually. We're camping right now. And um, I thought these would be kind of fun to get ready for the 4th of July in a few days. So that's why I wanted to make these. And the recipe calls for 4th of July M&Ms, but I went to two different stores and I couldn't find 4th of July M&Ms. So I just separated the red and the blue out of a regular bag of M&Ms. And then I have these white baking chips. So I thought, boom, there you go. Problem, problem solved, red and white and blue. So then just add the M&Ms and the white baking chips into the batter here. And then also, if you want it to be extra chocolatey, you could add in just regular chocolate chips too. If you want the extra chocolate. But these turned out very, very good. Just adding in some more of the white. I thought it needed a little extra. So then we just mix it in and then I have these red, white, and blue little sprinkles here. I'm adding in also for a little extra 4th of July-ness. And then I just mix it in with my wooden spoon. And pretty soon it's just about ready to go into the oven. I believe these baked, I put them in the oven for like 20 minutes. I check them. And then because I was using a pan that was a little bit smaller than the recipe called for, it took a little bit longer for 
my blondies to bake. <clears throat> but if you had a bigger pan, it will probably take around 20 minutes, no problem. So then I'm just adding a little bit more of the sprinkles on top and a few more of the baking chips just to decorate the, the top a little bit more. So you know that it's 4th of July blondies. I love blondies, they're so good. They are so, so good. It's like a, a really big chocolate chip cookie, isn't it? See, this is after like 20 to 30 minutes and they were perfect. Look at those. So if you like this uh, video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.